So currently we are in the historic part of the inn that was built in 1885. Uh, this is what a current room looks like. David Gersonson works morning, noon, and night to accommodate guests in one of two lodges he owns with his wife near Michigan's Sleeping Bear Dunes. The sheer beauty of the area. You, you, see, you see the growth uh, and, and people always talking about, well, this is the most beautiful place in America. I can see why Good Morning America said such a thing. Gersonson moved to the region after selling his door-to-door -door organic produce delivery company. His wife grew up in Michigan, and they thought the small town of Glen Arbor would be the perfect place for a new venture. Now I was able to come and uh, find a great little business like this bed and breakfast to run. Um, and I thought I would be able to put my entrepreneurial skills to use and, and go ahead and, and grow the company. And a, a dry sauna. Entrepreneurs like Gersonson know there is no handbook on running a new business. But there has been one practice that is completely foreign to him. It's called the, it's called the Visitors Bureau tax. A tax he has to pay to an organization that is private. In this case, the Sleeping Bear Dunes Visitors Bureau. Gersonson's Lodges, the Sylvan Inn, and the Lakeshore Inn are located in one of Michigan's many tourist jurisdictions, tax jurisdictions that were sanctioned by the state decades ago when tourist destinations had limited ways in promoting themselves and needed to pool resources. But in this day and age, everybody has the internet. Everybody has high-speed internet, and when you want to book somewhere, you go to the internet. Gersonson is forced to give 5% of his total revenue to this jurisdiction, about 20% of his net income. Or I can pass it off to the guest. And the problem in passing it off to the guest is my neighbor down the street isn't part of the bureau because they have less than 10 rooms, so they don't have to charge that fee. Not only does the tax interfere with Gersonson's pricing control, five of the eight lodges in the jurisdiction belong to one large competitor, a resort. In fact, the address for the Sleeping Bear Dunes Visitors Bureau is within the resort complex, somewhere. The Bureau's website has been a particular problem. We're not really advertised as anything much but a little mom and pop shop. If you go on the site and see condos and apartments. It doesn't have the apartment that we offer. Rooms with kitchenettes. What it doesn't have is the kitchenette that is in room eight of our bed and breakfast. Weddings. There's three places that they advertise for weddings and they're all at the homestead. The laundry facility down here. Uh, the website also fails to mention that Gersonson's inns are open in the winter, the one season he can grow. And because he has to pay the tax, he must divulge his private business information, his revenue, to competitors. You know, there's no telling where that could leak out to people who, you know, want to want to know for one reason or another you know what we're doing you know how much money are we making gersonson contacted the mackinaw center legal foundation after reading about a similar case it was fighting on behalf of another michigan lodge owner the foundation had done extensive work helping workers leave unions under the state's right to work law it's similar in that they both can uh, involve compelled speech um, the situation is uh, in right to work, it's often uh, political speech that the union engages in. Uh, this is more commercial speech as to somebody being forced to engage in advertising and, uh, and use marketing methodologies that they might not agree with. Visitor bureaus are located throughout Michigan and they collect millions of dollars. If guests could keep that money, they could support things that are of value to them. Well, when you have a free market, you have a lot of different private participants. They're all competing against each other. They're all finding the best way to serve the customer. And in situations like here, where you have people forced into a bureau, you can have one particular organization dominating that bureau and enforcing their will on all the other businesses. And then you don't get the best service. You don't get the best way of doing things. You don't get the best advertising. You get what benefits the bureau. Gersonson hopes by taking a stand, he'll put an end to Michigan's Visitors Bureau taxes once and for all. I've, I've been in business uh, for over half my life. I'm 40 years old. Um, and I've become a successful businessman in the, the ventures that I have gone on. I, I know what I'm doing uh, in business. And to force me to hire an advertising agency uh, that I don't agree with their uh, procedures, you know, and, and, and their uh, method of operation, 
you know, is an, is an infringement on me as a human being, as an American.